Oh, hello there. This is just cringing behind the camera because of that little thing that I pulled. Hey everybody, it is Half a Star Girl and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. A friendly reminder is that subscribing is completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Let's get into the video. So today I'm reviewing a scale that I bought today. I don't know if a lot of people know, I am currently on a weight loss journey or I don't want to say weight loss journey, I want to say like a lifestyle journey because I understand that I have really bad habits, like really bad unhealthy habits and you know I wanted to change that and of course my weight is something that would include in my health and everything so I decided to buy a cool scale. So the scale I got was is the Renfo Smart Healthy Living Scale. I don't know, can you see that? I bought it on Amazon, of course. And this scale actually connects to your phone and it tells you all kinds of different things about your body. Like, like it's not just your body weight, it's just, it includes things like your BMI, your muscle, your fat, um, it's, it just goes to all the, those kinds of things. So I'm gonna download the app on my phone real quick and I'm gonna show you guys. So it told me that it's not the Renfo app, it's the Renfo Health app. I guess a lot of people have been getting it confused. I'm not sure. Uh, Renfo. Info health. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna sign up really quick. I am how many I'm not sure. Okay, wait. So I'm 5'9. It's asking me how tall I am. I'm 5'9. I can change it to inches. I don't know how many centimeters. Oh, never mind. I thought it was gonna ask like 60 or something, but I'm 5'9. There we go. I am pretty sure I, they weighed me today, I'm like, I'm two, I think it's a 284. I'm gonna put a little photo, if I have one. I guess I'm using that photo. All right, we're saving it. asking me what devices I currently own. There's a smart jump rope. You guys don't know this, but for a while I have, I have dabbled in jump roping and I really like jump roping, except I got COVID. So I had to stop jump roping for a few months and I never got back into it. But I really like jump roping. I even bought myself a new jump rope that I have not used yet. I only have the body weight scale, so it's just next question. Um, I guess my current goal would be weight loss or reducing. Oh, okay. Oh, I can only pick one. Okay, which one would I do? I guess I think reducing body fat would be more accurate. I don't really care about my weight. I think it's just more about my body fat that I'm more. You know I exercise not at all so I move a lot I just don't exercise uh, okay I'm turning on all of those okay interesting okay so I guess it's time to actually open the package so it's like opening a Christmas present it's actually really light like it literally just came like this wrapped in plastic it didn't even come in an Amazon box it just came in this, like this so I really hope it's not broken I did not need everybody to see my business nobody needed to know that I was trying to get a scale okay it's a lot heavier now that I'm trying to pull it out 
just look through this in there. Looks snazzy. Can I open this? Oh. Okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. Like, it's like, like an advanced pizza box. Ooh. It, it comes with batteries. I think I saw this on a different review. It says to not use those batteries. Well, it's, well, it says not to use those batteries for over a month. I don't know what happens if you use it for more than a month, but I'm just, so we're just going to use the batteries that have been given to us. Here comes the hard part, figuring out which way the batteries go in. Is it on? It's on. I'm just going to read the instructions really quick. I need to Bluetooth this thing. The thing, it tells you to turn on your Bluetooth and then step on the scale and wait for it to light up. It's kind of small, but it's like a regular, I don't know. It's like compact, but it's like not large. I have my sister stuck on it because it seems that me just putting my feet on it is not working. Guys, you have to go into the app to connect it. It's not your actual phone. Okay, the reason I did it on my actual phone is because it said to go to your Bluetooth settings. I found the scale. Very nice. It, I think it's connecting. Now it's actually asking me to to step on it. Okay, so it's telling me to step on. Okay, it's connected. As you see. Oh, I have to make sure my feet are bare. I have to pause the camera and I have to remove my socks because your feet have to be bare on the scale and I don't want people to see my feet. There's nothing wrong with my feet. I just don't like people looking at my feet. This was the actual thing that happened and it is, oh my gosh. That's actually so weird. Okay. So, as you can see, Dang, that's a lot of muscle. Okay, we're gonna start off with the weight. So I'm 284.1. Of course, I've eaten today, so it's kind of later in the evening where I've eaten about like two meals. Um, so I think earlier today I was like, no, I was still the same weight, I'm pretty sure, but I have eaten. That, I can't justify my weight, honestly. <laughs> My BMI is 42, and if a lot of you guys know anything above like 25 is horrible. Oops. Um, my body fat is 53.4%. My whole body, half of my body is made out of like fat. Literally. I understand you're supposed to have like a little bit of fat, but I have too much too much. I'm like a blob. Okay? So my fat-free body weight is 132 pounds, which is probably, I should be that weight, a, but like a little more. So if it's 132 pounds, then I should be probably 170 something around there. I'm not exactly sure, but to me that sounds kind of good. Cany is fat. I have no idea what that means. Um, it is 45.4%. My versatile of fat is 23. Still, again, don't know what that means. The body water, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't drinking a lot of water today. It's 32%. My skeletal muscle is 27.1%. So 27.1% of my weight is mus skeletal muscle. Um, muscle mass is 124.5%. Five. So that means I do carry a lot of muscle. It's just I carry a lot more fat than I do muscle, which I'm very happy because I thought my muscle would be a lot lower. But that's literally on one of the only things in green is my my muscles. I feel that actually makes me feel good about something like that I have that there's one good thing about my body. Uh, <laughs> My bone mass is 7.9 pounds. 
how can my bones only weigh 7.9 pounds? Um, the protein, I don't exactly know what it means, like, I don't know what it means by protein. My biometric melabotic mel rate, which means how much calories I should be eating, 1600 calories, that's currently what I'm, I think I'm doing a little lower than that, but I'm doing about that much. Um, and here's the best thing. My metabolic age is 28. I thought my metabolic age was gonna be like 35. 28 is not too bad. It's like 11 whole years. I knew my body was old, but I didn't think it was that old. Oh my gosh. So I think on here I can put... Okay, so I can put my target weight, like how much I do want to weigh. So currently, I am obese, obviously, um, and I want to kind of just, you know, 200, maybe, maybe we should go like, I, you know, 190 has always been a, a bigger goal for me, you know, 200, 250 is a nice goal for me, but 190 is a, a nice goal for me, that is like, if I could be 190 for the rest of my life, I've never, I don't know what I would look like if I was 190 pounds, but it just sounds so nice in my head that I want it. Okay. 30 days remaining. Oh my gosh, I have a goal limit, like a day limit. Oh, that's actually kind of cool though. Okay, I'm confirming that. Okay, with my body fat. I think I've seen like charts saying like how much body fat. I've seen charts talking about like the body fat and like how much body fat and stuff. Well, let me tell you, those charts are absolutely wrong because if a lot of them say like 50 plus and it's like a very big woman with a lot of fat and I'm 50% and granted I don't exactly look people mistake how how body fat can look on different people so if this is 50% body fat then my body is doing something right I'm currently 53.4% I think I'd say like half of that, maybe like 28, yeah, I like that one, 28, no, we're gonna do, we're gonna do 29, because 29 is a lucky number for me, it's, it's a lucky number for me, that was the day I was born, so, 29 it is, cool. So, that is so, that's so cool. I only need to lose 94 pounds. I say I only 94 pounds because I hear a lot of people losing like 100 plus pounds, 200, 150, and then I'm over here like I only need to lose 94 pounds to get to my dream weight. And that makes my goal a little like a little more believable I guess you would say and I like this this is this is gonna help me a lot because I feel like I'm not just looking at my weight I'm looking at everything else that is included in it okay we were playing around with it for a bit um, we had a bunch of fun figuring out all of our like metabolic ages and stuff um, I did it with my stepmom and she kind of liked it. She thought it was kind of interesting. Her metabolic like age was only like like two years older than what her actual age was, so she was kind of happy with that. I think this is something that would be great to not just track your weight, but to track your actual like your actual developments, you know? because a lot of the time people will only look at the weight on this like the number on the scale and they'll completely ignore any other factors like 
you can lose fat and you can gain muscle. You can turn that fat into muscle and a pound of fat and a pound of muscle aren't the same size, but they're the same weight. This is a pound of fat. A pound of fat would be my whole hand and this is a pound of muscle. It's only half. It's half the size of fat, which is something that a lot of people don't take into consideration. So I think that kind of helped me realize that, that, you know, I'm not exactly the most fit, but I feel like people should focus less on the scale and more on their health in general. So instead of trying to look good, think more about trying to feel better and feel good about yourself. I, this this definitely helped me a lot because I hope whenever I see start seeing changes, I start seeing changes not only in my weight but in my fat percentage, my my metabolic age, my my protein, all all of that. Like I hope to see more in that and not just a smaller number on the scale. So. I hope that this review has helped a lot of people, you know, choose a skill that might work for them more. I definitely am in love with this, this skill right now, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. A friendly reminder that subscribing is completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Peace homies.